see this has become some kind of a phenomenon. Trend? Fad? Movement? Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. I just can't seem to help but notice things like this are happening more and more lately. Warning! The next 20 seconds or so is going to be NSFW, or Naughty Language Ahead. Fuck Joe Biden! 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 All I can say is, what happened? How does the most popular candidate of all times, within seven months in power, have everyone cursing his very name? I might just be guessing here, but could it be that the minute he was installed in the office, that uh, he started doing everything for everyone else except those that supposedly put him there? It really sounds to me like loyalty has a lot to do with it. Even down to the withdrawal that just occurred, from what I'm reading and hearing, even from the mainstream, which is an extreme surprise, everyone except for Americans were considered and placed in front of the line for evacs and everything else having to do with this Sorry, shit show. Oh, sorry. Most of my military acquaintances are calling it that, so I thought it was okay. And pardon my French, but sometimes doo-doo just doesn't cut it. And we are talking about some uh, rough and tumbles here. Here's another guess. Could it also be that our dear leader basically turned into the absolute dictator that he kept claiming his predecessor was? I'm just gonna talk about a short list on this one. What was the first thing good old Joe did when he was sworn in? He was so hell-bent on changing anything and everything that the previous administration did that he didn't even party for his own inauguration. He went straight to the Oval and signed now how many executive orders at once? I think it was 23 the first time. Five that he started with were doozies, if I remember correctly. He went right back to throwing away our money again on the Paris Accord, which pretty much just drains the United States of their funds while other world industry giants get to continue to pollute as they please including American companies that have moved to these other countries, while they demand that we take the responsibility for their disregard of our Mother Earth, meanwhile claiming to be saving it by robbing us, even of our jobs. He crawled back to the WHO who has done nothing but lie to us about the Rusfi while protecting the country that unleashed this deadly terror on the world. He got rid of the travel ban that Trump actually extended from the Obama era, while he only added like one or two countries that had already been established as terrorist hubs. The establishment kept calling it a ban on Muslim folks, which couldn't have been farther from the truth. Then, uh, our dear leader extended DACA again, which was a very shaky and unconstitutional uh, executive order from Obama era again, to begin with. And he went in and right away reversed the transgender ban in the military. Of course, America's disdain could have something to do with this little speech. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? We've made vaccinations free, safe, and convenient. The vaccine is FDA approval. Over 200 million Americans have gotten at least one shot. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. 
and your refusal has cost all of us. I mean, when did he become daddy? And cost all of us what? The entire thing has almost cost us our entire country. So what is he talking about? So I would really like to know, what happened to all the avid Biden lovers out there? I mean, from what I can tell, this colorful chant started in Austin, Texas, one of the bluest areas in the country. And it seems that thousands of Californias are flocking there daily. In fact, I just read that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are moving to Austin. So yeah, can someone explain this to me? Because even Dear Leader is complaining about this phenomenon. I'm thinking of, you know, what, 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 what are the people who die? What would they be thinking? They think this makes sense for us to do this kind of thing where you ride down the street and someone has a sign saying F so and so or, so, I mean, it's not who we are. Here's my opinion on it and my answer. Your side made this crap okay. How many times can you hear someone yell the same thing about someone that they hate without any kind of even raised eyebrows and expect folks not to think that it's okay to do the same. From what I've just shown you and from what I've heard, I'm not surprised that they're cursing your name. Here comes the NSFW scene again. Fuck Joe Biden! 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 So now I'm going to ask you, what do you think is happening? Why do you think this is happening? You would actually be telling me this on my call-in talk show anyway, which by the way is something I'm going to touch on real quickly. Now, I know that I told you that I have been working on the Unsophisticated series, but I was struck with a better idea and was encouraged to do this by several people. And it hopefully will get me some more subs so that I can keep building and including you in the conversation, which I'm going to try to do soon. I will still be doing my weekly videos, but I have started working on the plans for going live, doing live shows, which is what I really want to do. And I would like for you guys to be able to call me in on my live shows. I'll talk about just about anything, uh, mainly because of the fact that they've actually made almost anything and everything political these days. I'm not necessarily looking for debates per se. My basic purpose is to get people's voices out there, no matter what they think. As long as there's no ad hominem attacks or uh, bullying and things like that, I don't have a problem what you have to say. When, when I get this started, call in and talk to me about anything. Anyway, my deadline to do my first live show is, is in about two months. I am still making some notes and brainstorming and preparing and on what platform to do it on but also on what to cover and when to stream. You all can help me out with that as well. Let me know when a good time for you to watch my show would be, or a good time for you to actually be able to call me and talk to me. Again, I promise, I know I've promised this before, but I again promise that I, won't, I will try very hard not to go parallel to any of our favorites, you know, ABL, Salty, uh, Sticks. Of course, he's so early in the morning, I don't think I could even do that unless I stayed up all night. <laughs> but hell, I want to watch those folks too, so I'm not going to compete against them. But I have, uh, like I say, I have my deadline to be no longer than two months. That actually should give me enough time to build all the clips and the other things that I will need for my live stream. I want to make it nice for you. Something cool to look at besides my big nose. And until then, stay tuned for what's coming next. This and all my videos are brought to you by you and folks like you. If you'd like to see me continue my work, please click on the thumbs up button down below. Then click on the red subscribe button also down below. Next to that, please click on the notification bell under all so you don't miss any of my stuff. Join the conversation by giving me a comment down below and letting me know what you think of this video or any of my videos and a donation would be the ultimate. It will also bring me one step closer to including you in the conversation. You can also catch me and my work on other platforms, just in case I disappear from here. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.